Hey everyone, welcome to the Marielle Hatter. My name is Marielle and in today's video, I'm gonna show you what's in my bag. My Bugs Bunny bucket bag. Anyway, I was inspired by a recent video posted by Rianne of Life Life. She talked about what was in her bag. She brought out a Angela Roy bucket bag and I just recently got this awesome, awesome Bugs Bunny bag. I got this at Comic-Con. So I thought, why not? I'm gonna do one of these two. I'll show you what I carry around with me pretty much all of the time. <laughs> yeah, I there's some stuff in here even from Comic-Con, hold on. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the bag. It is by the designer Danielle Nicole. This isn't a completely vegan brand, I believe, but Danielle Nicole does create some really cute, kitschy, licensed, character handbags. Most of you may know her by her very popular Disney bags, but last season she came out with these amazing Looney Tunes bags. There are also like Harry Potter bags and they were for sale at a booth at Comic-Con. So we got Bugs Bunny's face here on the front. We have this awesome handle. This has really good hardware by the way. So there's this little hand and carrot and we have an awesome strap to convert this into a crossbody. And by the way, I'm wearing a Space Jam shirt. And I was really surprised by the quality of the synthetic leather. This has a pebbled texture. Let me see if you can catch on there. This texture is similar to the Angela Roy handbags and it feels just as supple. So this was on sale for 40 bucks. I could not believe it. It's it's just such a cute handbag. Ooh, and it is so hot in here. Check out their website for more information. All of the descriptions for the handbags, note what material they're made from. You'll usually see like silver hardware, gold hardware, and polyurethane. That's what they're made of basically. And inside, well, I'll show you what I usually carry. So for the first thing I noticed is that I'm still carrying around this from Comic-Con. I managed to get into the DuckTales panel where they talked about the new uh, season of the cartoon and oh my gosh, this was one of the like gifts for attending the panel. It's really cute. It's like a Scrooge McDuck little coin stack. I guess you can turn it into a little bank, which is awesome. And inside came this cute little Webby. Oh, I love what they're doing with Webby in the updated cartoon. And I guess I just took it off and put this in here. This is a watch. Watch? <laughs> it is a cruelty-free and vegan watch brand, which I really love. But I got this mainly for the strap because it's made out of that new material that they're making out of pineapples. Pineapples called piñatex. It's a really interesting texture. It kind of feels like you're touching paper but it's flexible it's really interesting there are more purses and more products being made out of this material so instead of buying i don't know like a handbag like i'm gonna try this in the little watch form and wow it's really cool so if you're looking for a vegan watch you can check out watch i really love the face of this because it's so thin and I don't know it just looks sturdy it's cute you can change the straps lots of options this is a big face there's that okay next I have this adorable little pencil case um, I'm using it as a makeup case and this is by the artist Road Montijo who was also at Comic-Con he's one of my favorite children's book illustrators. Uh, he's an artist that I look up to a lot. I got to meet him and I made him sign my bag. He was kind of like, oh, that's a first. So yeah, I'm a big nerd for his artwork. He loves Halloween. His artwork is pretty much, almost all of it is Halloween themed. So if you're into Halloween, you're looking for some special pieces, pins, posters, whatever, check him out. And inside, I just have some of the items that I always carry around. First, we have these, I, these are dollar store face papers. I think I got them over, I don't know how long ago. I just bought these on a whim. I just really needed some oil absorbing sheets and these have been with me the whole time. Oh look, I'm so sweaty, ew. I'm sure there must be a specifically 
cruelty free and vegan blogging paper out there but these are just you know random little face papers so then I have this really old tea bag I always carry one or two bags of tea <laughs> with me this is the lemon and ginger herbal tea by Twinings super delicious then I always carry my Charlotte Tilbury flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder this is in the color 2 medium this is dirty I always carry this with me to touch up my makeup in case I get oily, which I inevitably do if my foundation kind of starts to break up. You can put this on and you won't look cakey at all and it leaves a little color behind so it's just great. And I apply that with this random little brush I got because I am a VIB Rouge <laughs> at Sephora. I know Sephora isn't a cruelty free brand, this is a synthetic brush. I just really like the size, I need to clean it. Instead of just being wasteful and tossing in, I just use it to apply my little powder. Next, this is gonna sound a little extreme, but I always carry a tiny little eyeshadow trio with me. This one is by Fit Glow Beauty. This is the Mineral Eye Trio in Sun Glow. I got this from Petite Vore a while ago. These are just some pretty like neutral colors, they're a little bit on the purple side. There have been many occasions where I leave the house just with like mascara on and I'm like I don't need eyeshadow today and then at some point I either get bored or I just want to have eyeshadow on and I always reach for this and I apply it with this tiny little guy right here. This is a travel brush by Real Techniques. Look at this. It's so small but it's perfect just for like applying like this color like bottom lash line. It just makes it so easy so I don't know if Real Techniques still makes this, but it's great. Then another product I always have is the Long Last Concealer from 100% Pure. It's a pretty translucent concealer, but it gets the job done if like my nose or the concealer around my nose, foundation, whatever, it just, if, it, if it starts breaking up. So I kind of touch up or I have this little Real Techniques brush. I just use it to apply and that's that. Then I usually like to carry a lip balm. Recently I've been using the Herbivore lip balm. This doesn't have any color in it but it's super hydrating and nourishing. I like the little pot. I also <laughs> carry around a carrot color pot by Ere Perez in the color Harmony. My blush just kind of always disappears. So I like to retouch. I wish this color would be a little less a little less rosy because I can't put it on my lips. It just makes my lips look a little bit chalky, so the color doesn't suit me that well, but it's so beautiful on the cheeks and I always have that too. Then I always also carry around a Thrive Cosmetics lip gloss in Glinda. This is such a gorgeous color. It's super hydrating too, so if I just need like a little something, this gives you a little bit of color and a little bit of, of sparkle. And the last makeup product I always have is the Soft Nude Natural Lip Pencil by Lily Lolo. This is my favorite lip color ever. There's that. Then I carry around a little sunglass lens cleaner. I don't know where I got this from, probably from like a car wash. Uh, next thing I have, I carry around some mint infused Toothpicks. I think I got these at a like health food store and a little rubber, well it's not a rubber band but it's a little hair band because I have so much hair I'm always bursting hair bands or losing them so I got that on me all, at all times. I always have a couple of these ginger chews. These are by the ginger people. I buy them at Trader Joe's. These are basically just ginger another ingredient and tapioca starch so they are vegan and they are great for I don't know if this happens to you but it does happen to me quite a bit like if I'm a passenger in a car I'm always getting a little nauseous a little car sick after eating certain foods if my stomach gets a little like upset or feeling queasy I just start chewing on these and they help so much it gets rid of that flavor in your mouth when you feel a little nauseous you know what I'm talking about it's kind of gross but these have saved many people on many occasions ginger is really good at helping calm your tummy down 
so I recommend you have these either for you or for the people around you. People are always very surprised when I give them this. And I also usually carry around gum, but I don't have any right now. So those are all the little things that I carry around in my purse. And depending on the makeup look that I do, like I'll take the lipstick or whatever. Next, we have a hand cream and a hand sanitizer. This is my favorite scent by Pacifica. It is the Tuscan Blood Orange Hand Cream. It's super hydrating. All of Pacifica's products are vegan, so it's really easy to shop for. You can find them at Target. I think I picked this up at a Target. I have them scattered around like purses and in the car and at my mom's house and it's just really great to have this on hand. Sometimes I'll just put it on just to like escape the world and just inhale this scent. Then I always have the EO hand sanitizer spray in coconut lemon. This smells so good too. I do not like gel hand sanitizers. I always feel like they kind of sting or they leave my hands feeling a little dry. That does not happen with this hand sanitizer. It doesn't leave a sticky residue. It just feels really clean on your hands and it smells so delicious. It's like a little tropical getaway. And last but not least, my wallet. This is the first proper vegan wallet that I've ever had. Actually, it's the one, the only one I own. And this is by Angela Roy. I love these type of wallets where you have space to put your cash, your coins in the middle, your cards on the side, and then just like some little compartments to put more junk in there. I think Angela Roy has the best vegan handbags out there. They have really supple materials for their purses. This feels a little, I don't know, it feels a little different. I wish it would have been the pebble material this just kind of feels not as expensive but it's still really pretty it's really good i like that it's so sleek nothing too complicated and i think the stitching is really good sometimes with like synthetic wallets handbags etc the stitching is just really thick and it makes the whatever look really cheap but this is just so nice i get a lot of compliments on it and like, for example, the other day at Nordstrom, I whipped this out. The girl at the counter who works in handbags was like, oh, that's really pretty. What is that? I've never heard of Angela Roy, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, it's vegan. And she was really surprised. So that's a good sign. And I almost forgot, I also always carry around sunglasses with me. I just so happen to have these Desi Key high keys on me at the moment. I love this fade. And there you have it. That is what is in my Bugs Bunny bucket bag. I guess that's all folks. <laughs> Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share this video with a friend. I would really appreciate it. I will see you in the next video and until then, bye.